In today's demo, we're going to secure traffic going into and leaving a Kubernetes-based app. First, we're going to retrieve our policies from GitHub. These policies will, in turn, establish a front-end virtual server that passes incoming requests to the appropriate endpoint in the Kubernetes cluster via HTTP. We'll then apply an HTTPS redirect. We'll configure a web application firewall with preset policies, again retrieved from GitHub. We'll establish front-end encryption from the big IP to the user and back-end encryption from the big IP to the application. And we're going to do all this by applying a Kubernetes config map with one simple declarative AS3 call. Seatbelts fastened, let's go. As you can see, we're starting with a blank environment. It's a brand new big IP, there are no partitions, no virtual servers, it's a clean slate. Now, let's look at our declaration, which I have up in GitHub. Here it applies HTTPS. Below we can see it's sending front side and back side encryption. And here are WAF policies being picked up from GitHub. So let's apply this config map. I'll go to my terminal, and I'll apply the config map file. It says declaration configured. It takes about 30 seconds for this to show up in Big IP. So I'll hop over to Big IP. So I'll return to my Big IP. And as you can see, we have an AS3 partition in place with two virtual servers. Great. Now, let's see if this works. First, let's try the HTTP redirect. Copy this address. Open up browser, head over to it, and sure enough, as you can see, HTTPS, it's redirected me to a secure connection. Now, let's try an attack. I happen to have a cross-scripting attack set up in place, and I will run this. And it says the URL was rejected. Sounds good. Let's go to the big IP and see if it logged it. I go to the security settings and event logs, applications. And sure enough, here's my attack, cross-scripting attack from just now, blocked. There you have it, the attack was stopped. The power of this is how easy it is to automate and orchestrate this process.